Hello, this is Mr. Beck. This is part four of my series uh, on creating a game uh, with Android. This is for my eighth grade programming class. We call this Space Blaster. In the first three videos, we, uh, we learned to uh, draw some random targets to the screen. And you can see that when we fire a piece of ammunition, my collision detection isn't quite where it should be there. Let me see if I can get one of the uh, piece of ammunition to actually collide here with the target. And you can see my aim is, is horrible. I need to uh, make the collision detection a little bit better here. Let's try this here. Eventually, I'm going to hit this target. OK. And you can see that I need to increase the, uh, the distance a little bit. But when the, the ammunition does hit the target, the target disappears. Up at the very top, we have a number that's ticking away here. And we're going to implement that. We're going to use this field at the top for our score. And we're going to talk about how to create an independent thread that keeps track of our score. I'm going to try to explain threading here um, in uh, very basic terms if I can. So let's get started. Uh, inside of our panel class, this is where we're calculating distance and determining collision. Uh, the only difference here is that uh, the computer I'm in front of now, the program, has the instance of our target class. We simply decided in class to call it Turtle. Don't ask me why. It's an eighth grade programming class, so we sometimes do things um, a little bit differently. Uh, the, the instance of the target class is called turtle. The instance of the ammo class is called ammo. If at any point the distance between the target and any piece of ammunition is less than 10, turtle is showing is set to false and the target disappears as we just saw. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to increment score a little bit here. Very simply, we're going to put um, inside of our getter setter class, which is one way to do this. There are others. Um, I'm going to create a value in a second and I'm gonna call it score okay and I'm just gonna increment it by one getter setter score plus plus now it's giving me a red underline because I have not created that yet so at any point if there's any collision the score will be incremented by one this program will not keep score accurately the way I'm going to show you uh, my class will be challenged to make it so that one hit equals one point right now you'll see that uh, when you uh, hit the target the score will go up um, by a whole bunch, and we're going to figure out how to limit that so that one point uh, is assigned to one target. That won't happen here. Anyway, so we're, we're uh, incrementing score by, uh, by one, which means I now need to jump into my getter setter class and create that uh, static integer. All right, public static int uh, score, and we'll set it to zero first. All right, so now we've got it set so that any time there's collision, we increment score in our getter setter class. Okay, so our text view, right, where we are actually, we've created this little text field up here, all right, um, that exists in our main activity class, and we're working with that in our main activity class. So uh, anytime something happens inside of panel or the getter setter, right, we're going to need to change the text view over here in our main activity because inside of onCreate, that's where we set up our text view. The best way to keep track of changes throughout the program is, is to create a separate thread. And we're going to use the handler class. So um, when you create a program within Android, OK, there's what's called, you know, you've got the main activity thread. All right, the program itself is looping over and over again. And if you pause too long and you make the program wait too long, the program will crash. Um, and you'll get that force close, the program has stopped responding error that I think anybody who's used Android has probably seen. Um, so you don't want to make the program execution, the main program execution, pause for too long. Otherwise, the program crashes. Now, the solution to that is to create a separate thread a separate execution thread that loops over and over again in the background that does not interfere with the main execution thread. And that way we can uh, do things like that take a longer period of time, for example. For example, let's say we want to make a web request. We create a separate thread. We tell it to go check the internet for the information we want. And if that takes two minutes or one minute or 30 seconds, to go out to the web and retrieve the information we're looking for, 
the main program execution isn't waiting for that particular web request to complete. The program execution is still moving along as normal, but we're making the web request in a separate thread um, that is able to sort of wait for that information. All right, so the more you work with uh, the threading and uh, creating different threads, the more obvious it becomes. And the first time your program crashes because it's uh, been forced to wait too long, uh, you'll, you'll see that as well. So we're going to create a instance of the handler class, and I'm calling it M handler here. And I'm doing this right up here below where we create our main activity class. This handler class will process messages from, se from a separate thread that it is specifically associated with. All right, it's, a, it's designed to do that. And then down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the bottom. Okay, so here's my method on create. In the on create method, I'm just going to go down to the very bottom of the on create method here. And uh, you can see that uh, in this program, the on touch event will occur right after that. I've added some more text. I'm going to uh, put this information here. I'm going to create a new runnable, okay? And that occurs after on create, okay? So this goes outside of the on create method here, all right? And this runnable, this is uh, our, our separate thread execution here, and it's very simple. What we're doing is I'm writing to our text view, okay, the value i, which I declared at the top of the class as well and set it to zero. And just to demonstrate that this thread is indeed running independently and looping over and over again, every time this thread loops once, um, I'm incrementing the value of i by one. Okay, so for every thread, every time this thread executes, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This just demonstrates this thread execution here. Um, this mhandler.postdelayed is the frequency at which um, the message queue for this thread is updated, right? Okay, and then so inside of onCreate, though, all right, we are associating our mhandler right with okay this execution thread all right so inside of on create we initialize our m handler class correctly and associate it with the thread and then outside of on create we actually uh, create our separate execution thread and have it do whatever it is we'd like to do all right so essentially pause the program at the bottom of on create and get this in there once you have it running all right, you will see at the top where our text view is, this i will be incremented over and over again. Okay? Well, the goal is pretty simple at this point. We just need to read from uh, getter setter. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to say, okay, I want this field at the top to keep score. So it's going to be getter setter dot score. Okay? And we don't need to increment i because that was just for a test. So now, as this thread loops over and over again, it is constantly polling the getter setter dot score integer, and it is setting the text view at the top of the screen to reflect whatever that is. Um, at first, when the program starts, you can see that uh, I had a teacher walk in there, so I did just pause the video. Um, here's our static integer score in the getter setter class and then inside of panel anytime we have a collision we increment that by one and um, you'll see that uh, the score will go up however it won't go up by one every time uh, we hit the target and I'm gonna challenge the class to think about why that is why are we getting such a large score increase every time there is collision with a target and how do we fix it so that's the the challenge for this right now um, once again, uh, for a grade, then, you should be keeping score every time you hit a target. Um, and the score should be reflected one point per collision uh, up here in this top field. So that is the scope of this particular tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, any comments in the uh, YouTube uh, section here are, are welcome, as uh, I learn as much from uh, people who watch these videos as I hope uh, 
they learn from me. So thank you for watching and uh, look for the next video. I think we're going to go through and we're going to take the buttons down here and we're going to replace these standard gray Android buttons with uh, some nicer looking graphics. So once again, thank you for watching.